Let's talk a little bit about how to divide numbers. First off, you have to understand how to read these equations. I've got two equations here. I know some of you are thinking, okay, I'm just going to read it like this. 3 divided by 63. I'm just going to go left to right, just like how we read words on a page. That is incorrect. You have to read these equations right to left. You got to read them backwards. So what this actually states is 63 divided by 3. You're going right to left. 63 divided by 3. What would this equation say? If you said 83 divided by 4, you're absolutely correct. Now you have to understand two more things. Here's the first. Whatever I put on top has to be multiplied by the number here has to be multiplied by this. Whatever I put here on top, it has to be multiplied by that. Yes, I know it's division, but remember this rule. The second rule you have to understand is any number I put on the bottom has to be subtracted. You have to take away. So remember those two rules. Whatever I put on top, I have to multiply. Whatever I put on the bottom, I have to subtract. Okay? Now, what's this heart for? This is what it's for. Just to cover this number up so we see less numbers, let's make the equation simpler. What we need to do is put a number on top to get close to 6. When, I, when, when what happens? Right, when I multiply, because anything I put on top has to be multiplied by this number. So if I put a 1 on top, I'm going to get 1 times 3 is 3. Can we get closer? How about if we put a 2 on top? Now, if we multiply them, we're going to get a 6. But where do we put the 6? Right. We're going to put it right below. You just line them up. So we have 3 times 2 is 6. You see how that works? And now, remember the rule? Any number I put on the bottom has to be subtracted. So I'm going to subtract these. I'm going to get 0. Okay, so what's the point of this heart now? Well, we're just going to move it to this side. We're done with the 6. We've used it up. Now we're going to look at this number, and we are going to drop it. Yes. That's the rule. So what have we done so far? We started with this number. We said 3 times 2 is 6 because anything I put on top has to be multiplied. I put my answer to this multiplication right there. And then the rule, number 2, subtract. Whatever you put here, you get 0. And then we're done with the 6, so we see the 3, we drop it. Make sure you're writing this down. Follow me step by step. I promise you're going to become a division master by the time you're done this video. Now we're going to repeat the steps, except we're going to look at our new number at the bottom. We're going to ask ourselves, three times what will make this number here? And the answer is one. Because three times one, remember anything you put on top has to be multiplied. Three times one, you multiply them, you get three. But where do I write that? Right on the bottom. You always write those answers below. And now you subtract. Now, zero, three is just three. And 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, I've used up all of my numbers. There are no more digits, so I have gotten my answer. My answer is 21. Now, what does that mean? It means if I have 63 things, let's think of money. If I have $63, and divide means share, and I share it with three people, each person will get $21. And the zero at the bottom means that there will be zero dollars left over. This is the what we call the remainder. I'll write R for short. And remainder means how much remain. Now, let's see if we could do this question here. We're going to cover up this number. Go ahead, write it down, and let's do it. We're going to put a number on top. What number should that be? We're going to get close to eight. We're going to have to put a two. Very good if you wrote 2. 4 times 2 is going to be 8. Write it below. Subtract. I'll put the sign. And now we're done. So we're going to move the heart over. And we're going to, oh, look, it's a 3. We're going to drop them. Put them down here. Now what do we have? We have 4 and a 3. 4 times what makes 3? Uh, kind of tricky, hey? 4 times 1 is 4. That's too much. You can't go over. Nope, you can't, you can't do this. See, this is the problem. If you do this and you write a 4 down here, well, what's 3 minus 4? Can't do it. Well, you can, but you're not allowed any negative numbers. So we have to erase this. We have to erase that. The only option for us is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. We can do this. We can go 3 take away 0. That's fine. You just get 3. 
And our answer is going to be 20 with a remainder of three. So if we had this much money, $83 shared among four people, each person will get $20. And at the end of it all, when it's all split, there's going to be $3 left over. Now we're going to be a little bit more advanced. We're going to take this. I'm going to have to make an extra heart. I'm going to cover these two numbers up. If you feel like you understand this, go ahead and try to solve it on your own. Otherwise, watch this. We're going to start with this. Six and two. So we're going to look at any number here multiplied should get us two. So I'm going to put a number here. I can't go over two. So let's see here. What if I put a one? Well, six times one is six, and I can't go six take, I can't go two take away six. Okay, you're gonna get a negative number, so we can't do that. The only option for us is zero. Six times zero is gonna be zero. Subtract these two, you're gonna get two. Now we'll move the heart over, we're done with that. And what do we do with this number? We drop them. Okay, that step oftentimes is forgotten, so make sure you remember that drop step. 6 into 23. So let's see here. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. You got to be good with your times table to do these sort of questions. So if you're not, go back and try to improve that skill. Now, 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. That's too much. So we're going to go 3. 6 and 3. 6 times 3 is going to make 18. I can go 23 take away 18. That's just going to be 5. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, we're done the subtraction. We're going to have to move the heart over. Okay, now we see a five. What do we do with them? Drop them. Yes. We'll drop them down here. And now we've got six and a 55. What number goes on top? Now, I know six and eight is 48. That's pretty close. How about six times nine? Yes, that one works better because that makes 54. That is so close to 55. Without going over, of course, you're going to get remainder one and we're done. We get an answer of 39 with one left over. There he is. Put an R for remainder. Now let's move on to this one. We're going to cover up these two. We're going to start with our first number and we're going to ask ourselves the question. Seven goes into eight. How many times? Well, let's see here. If we put a one, that makes seven. That's pretty close. We can subtract these two. See, if I put a two, I'm going to get 14. That's too big. So I'll put a one. I'm going to get seven. Subtract those two. You're going to get one. Okay, after subtraction, what do we do? Well, okay, we got to move the hearts, right? So now what do we do with that three? Good, drop them. Yes. So now what do we have? We have a seven and a 13. Okay, now we're going to say, okay, seven into 13. Okay, one makes a seven. If I put a one up here, one times seven is seven. How about if I put a two? That's going to make 14. That's too big. I can't go 13, take away 14. So I have to put a one. I'm going to put one times seven is seven. Now, when I subtract these, I'm going to get a five. And now that I've done subtract, I'm going to move this over. Oh, look, it's a five. What do I do with him? Yeah, plop him down. Just drop him. Now, seven into 55. We already did it sort of in the last question. It was, it was a six. Now it's a seven. Seven times seven is 49. Okay, that's very close. How about seven times eight? That's going to make 56, right? You can't go 55 minus 56. So I'm going to have to delete that. That's too big. So we're going to have to go one less and we'll pick seven instead. And I multiply these, I get 49. That's a beautiful number. I can subtract these nicely. I'm going to get six and I'm done. I have no more numbers to use over here. So I've got an answer of 117 with six left over. I'll put an R. And that's how you divide numbers. See if you could do these two on your own. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and solve it. So I'm going to put my hearts here. You go ahead and do it on your paper or just check your answers over. See how you did. Eight and three. Okay, I have to put a zero. Eight times zero. Subtract these. Move that heart over. Drop it. It seems like a lot of steps. But once you get the hang of this, it's a piece of cake. Now we've got 8 and 35. Okay, let's see. 8 times 2, 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. I'm going to put 4. Oh, that is so close. Without going over. Now I'm going to get 3 left over. Let's move this guy over here. And now we're going to drop the 9. 
We're going to get 39, baby. We got 39. Let's see. Eight times six is 48. That's too much. Eight times five is 40. Oh, 40. That's still too much. It's bigger than that. We need eight times four. That makes 32. Seven left over. We're out of numbers. So we get an answer of just 44 with seven left over. Now we're going to move on to the very last question. See how you did here. If you got this right, give yourself a check mark. You know how to do this. Otherwise, you might have to rewatch this video and practice some of these steps again. Now the last question. We got to cover these up. So we're going to put hearts here and heart. I don't know why I chose hearts. I don't know. Some of the girls are going to love the hearts. So the, the boys maybe not so much. Now we have six and nine. Let's put a one here. That makes six. When I times them, of course, I'm going to get three when I subtract, and now I move it over. Okay, we got a seven. What do we do with them? Yes, drop them. Oh, look, six and six makes what? 36. Oh my God, that's just one off. Subtract, you get one. Now what? You should have moved it over, yeah. And now what? We drop them. We've got six goes into 10. We'd see six times one is six. That's close. How about six times two? 12, too much. So we're going to put a six in times one. We're going to get six. We're going to get four. 161 with four left over. I know some of you are still a little bit shaky about this. I promise just watch the video again. Watch it as many times as you have to and keep practicing these questions till you get the steps. Once you've got the steps, I promise it's it's pretty simple. Now, I haven't explained why this works, okay? That's for another time. Right now, you have to just memorize these steps, get very comfortable with them, and practice, practice, practice over and over again. And also know that division means sharing. 